I strongly believe that sky is one of the most important and most beautiful element of any landscape painting. Be it a night sky or a cloudy sky or a sunrise sky or a sunset sky. But a sky with a softer looking clouds just brings the whole painting together. Although it is one of the most difficult elements to pull off, especially when you're working with watercolors. You struggle with so many things like keeping your paper wet for a longer period of time, applying colors on wet surface and so much more. I have been painting and experimenting different kinds of sky from quite some time and these are few of my best work. I love painting the sky, they just bring the whole painting together. But painting those soft sky and soft clouds is not easy. I too had a lot of struggle to get where I am. But with a lot of practice and experimentation on different techniques, I have reached here. And here I am today to share all those tips and techniques which I have learned in my journey. Hello everyone, I am Shreya, a full-time artist, art educator and Skillshare teacher from India. You can check out my Instagram profile. My handle is at the rate artist Shreya Gana. I am also on YouTube. My page name is Paint with Shreya. You can see all of my work on that. In this class, I will teach you how you can keep your paper wet for a longer period of time so that you can achieve a beautiful cotton candy looking sky. Don't worry if you are a complete beginner. I have walked you through each and every step throughout the painting. So just grab your materials and come along with me and let's paint a beautiful landscape together. Hoping to see you in the class. As usual, we will start with the materials. I will walk you through each and everything in detail. First, we will talk about the paper and why it is necessary to use the right kind of paper for the technique which we will be using for our class project. Then, we will talk about the brushes. I will also share all the alternative options for the brushes as well as for the colors throughout the class. So, do watch it. And I'll also explain why do you need that kind of brush then we will talk about the colors i have used very basic colors throughout the class project so that everyone has those color palette then we will learn how to mix our own color with the basic primary colors then we will study how to create a rough composition on a rough paper before moving on to a final class project Next, we will study how to stretch the paper and how to work wet on wet. What is the right amount of water and paint ratio to put on the paper. We will also study how to get softer looking clouds using the same wet on wet technique. Once we have completed the technique part, we will move on to the final class project. That is just one painting which we will be doing by the end of the class and we will implement all the techniques which we have learned throughout the class. Don't worry if you are a complete beginner. I have walked you through each and every step in detail. All you have to do is just follow my instruction to do that. The only thing which I will put a lot of pressure on is using the right kind of paper and that's all. In this class project, we will study how to paint softer looking sky with a lot of clouds. We will also study how to paint the flying birds, the bushes, the far away mountain, the foreground floral field, the grasses and how to create the depth in our painting. I hope this made you all excited to learn about this. So. Grab your materials and let's get started. I am really hoping to see you all in the next class.